on a little bit of a skiing trip. We're up in the Sierra Nevada mountain range, which is uh, just near, Mar uh, near sorry, Granada on, in, down in southern Spain. And uh, it is one of the biggest ski resorts in Spain. In fact, I think it's the only ski resort in Spain. Now, we've not had a lot of rain. We've not had hardly any rain, so we've not got a great deal of snow. Uh, there is a lot of snow when we get up onto the slope, so that's not really a problem. But I'll give you a little bit of a brief look at where we're parked. We're in our camper, uh, and uh, we're up here just for the night. It is what's called Three Kings, now which is a Spanish Christmas. And this is the night before Three Kings. There will be a parade and fireworks and what have you down in the village of Pradolano, which is uh, where we're, we're parked just above the village of Pradolano right now. Um, and so we'll be going to the parade tonight, back to the camper, sleep overnight, and then we will get up in the morning and go down, get our ski stuff, and we will go skiing. Although um, mine's looking doubtful because I've got an attack of gout in my knee, so hopefully that'll clear up. But. Uh, I'll give you a bit of a, a bit of a look around the mountain range, and uh, this is my son. He's getting ready. This is later, and he's getting ready to ski tomorrow. Oh, he's actually snowboarding tomorrow, so he's a very good skier. But uh, he's just started snowboarding, so that might be a bit different. But uh, let me show you around. All these fancy uh, motorhomes, and this is ours. I've said it before. It's our little home from home. It is a conversion. Some, might have to take some beer out. Just I'll have to take some no, beer. No, it's not cold to, enough. It's not My cold wife enough. is still in her pajamas, and uh, we should say we might have to take some beer out. So. No, I need to take the milk out of the fridge. Beer, beer is a good idea. We don't need milk that cold. We're now in the uh, little village, the ski village of Pradolano, and my son and my wife stood behind us, as you can see there. They're very embarrassed because I'm actually using the Canon M50 today to vlog with, with a huge microphone on the top. So uh, they're looking a little bit embarrassed, and I have no idea why. But this is a fantastic place to come if you want to ski, obviously, it's a ski resort. Um, not a lot of snow though. <laughs> Normally when we got back here, we were here last year, the, uh, the village that you can see was covered in snow, whereas now it's absolutely clear and you have to get up onto the slopes, which I'll show you, um, to see any snow. But actually, they have a lot of snow machines up there, so there's plenty of snow up on the slopes. But right now, down at the village, there's absolutely nothing, and to be honest, it's only about six, seven degrees, so it's not even that cold. You see behind me, this is the, uh, the nice bar behind me. And the ice. And it's obviously another typical skiing, recreation bar area. But it's um, got a bit of music as well, so. We might be having a beer in there in a little while. And like I said before, tonight is the night of Three Kings, which is Christmas Eve to everybody in Spain. And behind me there, as you can see the tree, this is a uh, bit of an area where the parade will be. There'll be a parade. They'll be throwing sweets into the crowd. The Three Kings actually come skiing um, well, into the village from from up on the slope, so it's a really spectacular thing. And there's also fireworks as well, which is great. So I'll try and get some footage of that. But this is uh, this is Pradolano in Sierra Nevada. It's 
to be honest, if, you, if you're going to DJ, if you look at my other channel, which is Costa Del DJ, if you're going to DJ, this is a place to do it. And there's a young fella with a bar called uh, Badia Gastro Bar, and uh, there's a DJ on. So we're going to sit, have a beer, and uh, listen to a bit of house music as well. I'll show you a bit of footage when I walk back. All right behind me, we got a DJ. ¿Qué pasa, amigo? Para YouTube, ¿eh? Okay. Just playing some tunes down here at Badia Gastro Chill Bar. What a place to do it. And now I'm waiting for the beer to arrive. So here we go. So when you come up to uh, come to Sierra, <laughs> how can I do anything with it? Stop it. <laughs> So you visit the Costa del Sol and you come on your winter holiday and it's nice and bright and get You're down here on the Costa del Sol, you come for your winter holiday, you're on the beach but even better, two and a half hours drive and you're in Sierra Nevada which is a massive ski resort. Now we're sat here, we're having a beer. In the background we've got a, you probably can hear it, we've got a DJ playing, we're in a little bar on the resort and uh, tomorrow we're going to go skiing so I'm going to show you a bit of that as well. My son's snowboarding because he's all cool. No, but, wow. he's attempting to snowboard. He's attempting to snowboard. <laughs> ski, we're really. attempting to ski, I mean we've only been skiing for years and we're still property. But it is a fantastic place to come. But, um, Maybe we'll see us go down on this Yeah, we certainly got to come here a lot more this winter so we're going to see quite a bit of this and this is another fantastic superb and ace thing to do down here on the Costa del Sol. couple of beers in that bar with the DJ in it and you can tell why it was empty two pints and a coke was like nearly 20 quid uh, so we wonder why <laughs> oh, oh, this top end here is quite busy and where we were it wasn't very busy but now we know why so we're just gonna move up here and have a look at the menu have a little bit to eat so you've got to be careful where you eat and when you drink up here in uh, Pradalano on the Sierra Nevada because it is very, very expensive in some places. So all set it up, set up for tonight's parade. Can't wait for it really. We're going down to a little tapas place that we saw a couple of years ago and it's quite cheap so uh, we'll have a little bit of tapas but uh, we'll definitely be up here. As you can see behind me, you see that put on a stage, got some live music and all the rest of it, and then fireworks afterwards, so uh, we'll get plenty of footage here for you. My favourite bars up here, it's a little tapas bar, quite cheap. We're all drinking beers. And you get free tapas, although they and it all. We have great music in here, fantastic music, and uh, as you can see, he's very, very busy. Look outside.
behind us, I think, is the one of the hotels is actually putting some fireworks on. One of the hotels because the uh, parade's not actually happened yet. So, uh, yeah. And we'll come and when he starts. But that's the fireworks starting Christmas Eve, which is Three Kings Eve. 5th of January 2020, down here on the Costa del Sol, sharing about the ski resort. Kings ski down from the top, the main ski area, which is another sort of 500 meters higher than this, and they actually ski down what's called the river, which is the uh, if you want to ski down from the main ski stations down to the village of Bradalano, it takes about 40 minutes. So, uh, and the three kings ski down and they present all the children with gifts. So it's quite a spectacle, so we'll see a lot of that. There's a few thousand people all stood watching the parade, all skiing down from the top of the ski station. Can't really see it because there's thousands of people all waiting. And of course, this is Christmas Eve, whatever with it's Spanish show, um, all the kids are really excited. So it, uh, we've had our Christmas and we do it all again on Three Kings, so it's a great time. For, uh, for everybody down here in Spain. So we're walking our way back into the, uh, the center square uh, and the parade where it will end up in the middle of Pradolano, which is the uh, the village here. But uh, there's all thousands of people all over down, down watching the, the parade come down, ski from the top of the mountain all the way down the mountain. So um, we can't really see anything too many people so we come back to the center of the parade our center uh, of the village uh, and as you can see this is where the kings are going to arrive so uh, we'll get a good spot and wait for them to arrive Looks like the uh, parade has been across. We actually caught into a cafe and got a quick hot drink, but because um, it is freezing, got minus four right now. So a few more fireworks going off, and then we'll go down and see if we can get as close to the uh, the stage as possible to be able to see what's going on. Oh, the three kings are on the stage, so we'll get them now. See behind me that um, even the children of the village actually get uh, gifts Maximo from the three kings on the stage. Uh, I'm not sure how you actually do that. We've not managed to do that in the 13 years we've been down here. Some of the children of the village that actually pay for 
Pay for prints when they get called up to the state. Then Chelsea the fire was going to be me as well. And then must be the I don't know, have a look round. There's quite a few thousand people down here as well, so it's a, a great break. Let's enjoy the fireworks. So the kids are all getting the presents from uh, from the three kings, Balthazar, Casper. What was the three kings? What's the three kings' names? Balthazar, Balthazar, Casper, and what's the other one? Come on, you're come on. D'Artagnan. Stop D'Artagnan. He's one of the three. So the musketeers. Balthazar, Casper, and who over there? Caspar. Anyway, so they're getting the uh, they're getting the presents, and the crowd is disappearing rapidly because it is Sophia. bloody freezing. So we'll get back to the uh, van. Uh, we'll have to eat. We'll get uh, get to sleep. We'll be up tomorrow morning, and we're gonna go. Spread this snow. This is the day we're supposed to be skiing. Unfortunately, I have an attack of gout. So uh, my knee is killing me. So I'm not going to be able to ski today, but uh, my wife and my son are going to be able to go up there. I'm going to go up there as well, possibly later on up to the top part where the slopes are and do a bit of filming for that up there. But um, skiing, unfortunately for me, is out of the question, but uh, uh, just had to happen today, but never mind. The van or our little camper took some starting this morning from where we were parked up and the parking area a little bit up the uh, up the mountain and that's because it was minus five degrees throughout the night so that did take a little bit of, it's an old bus my old uh, my old camper van and it did take a little bit of starting but uh, we got there in the end and we're down in the village pretty much where we parked yesterday um very very quiet today because it is technically spanish christmas day it's called three kings uh, you saw the three kings um, Eve celebrations last night. Well, uh, tonight, or today rather, is Spanish Christmas Day, so all the kids will be at home opening their presents. Uh, where a lot of the Brits obviously take advantage of that by coming up to the ski resort where it is a lot quieter today, obviously, uh, and you can get on the runs really, really easily. So um, we'll get all kitted up, get up to the top of the, the mountain, and I'll, I'll show you a little bit more. Actually believe I'm not even skiing and I, yet I've still got to bloody carry Sharon skis because as you can see oh yeah she's trying to be cool now but she walks like a duck to be quite honest so so they're skiing I'm not but I have got a pass to go up the, the, uh, the, ski, the cable car 20 quid to up the cable car and come back down again but never mind to be honest we've uh, I don't think we've ever been here where it's been as quiet 
I mean, we come up every year for Three Kings, but it's never been as quiet as this. I mean, we didn't even queue for the lift passes, which is which is unheard of. And uh, there are actually no queues to get onto the main um, the, the telecabina. Hello, how are you? Cabina or the, the uh, I suppose you call this the, the gondola to get us up to the top ski station. And finally, we'll see some snow. We've been down here, not been to see any snow yet, but as you can see, this is called the river, and it's basically a, uh, a ski run from the top, right at the top where we're going now, all the way down to the village. It takes about 40 minutes. Unless you're Franz Klammer like this young fella here and you can get down in 20 then you are skiing really really quick to come down in 20. Me and my wife, we tried it last year, oh, two, years ago. two years ago, it took us three hours. Because we spent most of the time on our backside so that's not a good idea but uh, show you a bit more footage on the way up. We've arrived at the top ski station. Woo! This is where you get the lifts up to the uh, different rooms. January, it's a Three Kings Day, and I've never seen it up here as either as quiet or with such little snow as you can see on the, uh, the rest of the mountains up there. And obviously, on the piece, on the runs, as you can see at the top, they're using snow cannons, which basically spray out a, a fine mist of water, which freezes and obviously comes down as a fine powder, but uh, it's not ideal. need some rain up here which then obviously turns into snow and probably that is the reason that it's so quiet here right now because uh, there's not all the the runs open which is okay for us because we're only serving on the baby slope so there you go right can't complain that she's put a bit of weight on her legs and uh, put a bit of weight on I put a lot of weight on her boots are hurting fit, fit. Boots. Boots. We can't even get the boots on because we calves are that fast. She's not happy. She, actually, she's been really happy with all the beer that you took to get it on, but uh, <laughs> the skis and boots are on now. Yeah. We've been up here loads and loads of times, and the trouble is, if you get up here, you forget what to do. And so, so, Leighton's on his bum. Right, now, Leighton's a really, he's, all, he's an expert skier, but he's only just started snowboarding, in fact. Went for some snowboarding lessons when we were back in England uh, at a uh, indoor uh, ski slope. Right, right Sean's attempting. Is I fall on me. Yeah, we don't fall because I'm not there to film you. It'll be really funny. Well, lean forward. Lean forward. You don't lean back because you always end up going back. You do a complete, complete manga. Don't lean back when you get onto the ramp. Lean forward. 
Oh, she's going to end up falling back again. And this is really small. It's called a carpet lift. And you basically slide onto it and then lean forward and it takes you all the way up. And it's not a very steep slope, to be honest. So, I uh, don't know where Leighton is. Oh, he's there. He's there, he's going backwards. I don't know if you can see him. Let's see if we can get him. He's coming down, here we go. Oh, he's on his bomb. Back up. Doing really well. Absolutely sure. I must have missed this. He's on the lift. Well, Lane's got it pretty well. To say he's only had one lesson, he ought to have got skis really because he is a really good skier. The problem is what he actually said is he didn't want to ski today because we're not as good a skier as him. He can go down the red. The red runs and we're really green and blue, which is a shame really because I was in my 20s a really really good skier and now I've got into my 50s, and, you know, nowhere near as confident but hey, I'm sure we'll get to it. Just waiting for Sharon to come out on the top and uh, see if she can remember what to do to come back down again. But Sharon's stuck at the top of the hill. And uh, unfortunately, I think she's uh, a bit nervous to come down. It's been, uh, yeah, it's been a couple of years since we've been skiing, so she's kind of just stood there, not very happy, so. <laughs> oh dear. Leighton's going up on his uh, snowboard to try and find her. Closed. 